Today I'm going to show you how to install a weather head on an SEU cable. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about weather heads, services. You know, we need power coming into our, our dwelling, so in order to do that we have to have a cable running up the side of the house. So running up to the side of the house, our wires where it's connected to the overhead, it's connected at the weather head. And the weather head basically keeps water out of the cable which doesn't work its way down into your meter can which will then rot it out. Now in some cases you're going to see that some of your services that you're going to come across and you know the, the more services you see and the more services you do you'll see what happens. The older they get the water, snow, sleet um, you know really kind of beats up the metal. We don't want to do anything that's going to make more water get into our service because you know water especially if you're dealing with a copper or an aluminum conductor either way it really doesn't matter if water gets in on those conductors eventually it's going to corrode and then eventually we're going to have more problems so what do we do well we make a weather head and we make sure that we're we make it tight there's specific ways we have to do it so we don't want to we don't want to get that water or let that water excuse me i should say it better we don't want to let water into that cable so that it trickles down into our meter, which could then corrode our wires and rot out most of our electrical components. You know, the last thing you want to do is, you know, not do a good service where water is going to be able to get in. You want this thing to last forever. Okay. So I have a piece of 4 op which is rated for 200 amp or 200 amp service. I have a four aught cable and that cable has two conductors in it. One is marked with a red and the other is just black. On the outside, which when we cut the insulation off, you'll see on the outside, we have cables that are intertwined all the way around. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that, twist it and make our own neutral conductor. Something you need to keep in mind is when you're doing a service or a service change or whatever it is, you need to make sure that you understand how much of that cable needs to be hanging out of that weather head. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do three feet. So I'm going to measure out three feet and strip it and I'm going to show you how to actually put it together. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my measuring tape I'm going to measure out three feet. Now, I like to go about three and a half feet. It gives me plenty of room to work with. Okay, so I'm going to go up 42 inches, make my mark. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my razor knife and where my finger is, where my finger is where I'm making my mark at 42 inches, all I'm going to do is go and run to the center of the, the conductor and I'm going to just run my knife down the insulation. Something you always want to remember when using a razor knife, you always want to score away from you. The cable is not coming apart, the insulation. All we're doing is taking the jacket off, okay? Once I get down to the end, I cut the insulation around. Remember, you're just scoring it. And you take it right off. This cable has an insulated nylon uh, covering, which gives it a little bit of strength and st uh, stability. You're just gonna unwrap it. Again, you're going to cut it off and discard it. You don't need it. So as I stated before, you're going to have these wires here that basically are your, this is going to be, we're going to twist and make our own neutral. 
Then we have our insulated conductors that's also going to fit in our weatherhead. Let's look at the weatherhead. The weatherhead. You have your cover. You loosen up the two screws on the top and you slide it off. You have your insulated wire bushings. Again, you can take this and put it to the side for right now. Now you have your weather head. Okay. This is where our conductor is going to go in. So the conductor we just stripped is going to slide up into here. You guys like to slide their weather head on first, pull their cable out, strip their cable, cut the insulation off, slide their cable in and then tighten down their con uh, conductor. You can do it both ways. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes it may be quicker. You know, if you're dealing with a very cold day, um, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit stiffer to work with. You may want to slide it on first. If it's a really warm day, you know, it's going to be a little bit more flexible to work with. So it's something you want to keep in mind. You know, there, there's really no right or wrong way to do it at this point. Whatever you feel comfortable with is what you should be doing. Another thing that we should talk about our black and our red conductors. I haven't mentioned phasing very often, but you know, your, your black conductor and your red conductor both produce 120 volts, which gives us our 240 volts for our service. We have standards, okay? And as an electrician, we have standards. So when I look at something and I see something on the left or the right, I know what it should be. I also know when I'm looking at a meter can or I'm looking at a disconnect, I also know the top is always going to be my line and my bottom is always going to be my load. So something you need to remember is when you're looking at these cables, when you're looking at it this way, your red is going to go to the, the right and your black is going to go to your left because when you bring it into your meter can, you want to look at your meter can and we're going to be doing another video. We're going to do another video on meter can tie-ins. So when you look at the video, you'll see the black will come into the left side and the red will come into the right side. As us electricians actually tie in panels, we know we're all dealing with the same standard. The line is the line, no matter how you look at it. Okay. That's what I want you to understand. The line is the line. What I do is I take one of these screws out all completely. Okay. and I roll the sleeve to the side. I take my cable and I slide my cable all the way through. You want to make sure you have all of these strands with you. Now, here's the key. You don't want to have your insulation here. You don't want to have your insulation outside of your weatherhead. You want that to hop, pop in just like so. Okay? You want to make it pop in just like so because, again, what are we trying to do? We're trying to prevent water from getting into the sleeve and running down our cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to pop it back up and I'm going to put my screw in. I'm going to make sure it's centered and I'm going to tighten it down. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want to under tighten it. Okay. So you want to have it sitting just like this. Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to make the neutral. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our weather head <clears throat> and we're going to follow it up. And we're going to take it right off the end and you're just going to take it the whole direction. And what you're going to do is you're just going to unwind it. Sometimes what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have to, you're going to want to go through and look to see, okay, I've got wires coming down this way here from the backside. I may want to take that and undo them so that I can redo my wire. Okay. So 
So at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have everything out and you're gonna intertwine this cable back together. And you're just gonna twist it all the way up. Once you do that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to bend it you're going to want to bend it at a 90 degree angle, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the floor and make it a little bit easier so I can show you how to make this cable. Standing on the cable, you're going to make sure you twist, start from the bottom and work your way up. And you're going to twist it in the way that the wire is going. Actually makes life that much easier. You're going to twist it. Once you get to the top, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this end here and you're going to want to roll it over, okay? You're going to roll it over in a 90 degree fashion. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and when you twisted it, you're going to actually twist it. When you're looking at it, you're going to twist it clockwise. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your own conductor. And you're gonna keep cranking, and cranking, and cranking. Because the tighter this conductor is, the more efficient it's gonna be. And when it's all said and done with, this is what you should be looking at. Okay, so now that this is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this down. This is gonna sit down like so into this little groove here underneath. That's where your, your neutral conductor goes. Now what we're gonna do, remember these bushings? We're gonna take the bushing and we're gonna run one of the bushings down into the sleeve and you're going to take your conductor your red is going to go on the right and your black is going to go on the left and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give them a good bend and pull them right down into the sleeve And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the other bushing, you're gonna slide it over the top. Now, there is a little bit of a gap in, in around these cables. That's fine. Remember, aluminum, when it gets hot, it expands. When it gets cold, it contracts. We need to have a little bit of movement in here because you're gonna constantly expand and contract. These are gonna move over and over again. To be quite honest with you guys, we're actually done. We're gonna take, we're gonna take and we're gonna put on the cover. Slide it on. You're gonna take your screwdriver. You don't wanna over tighten it, cause you will break them. But you wanna just make sure you snug them down a little bit. said and done, you'll take your conductor, you'll take your weather head, you'll go up to where your ram's head is connected, you'll run a screw, sometimes a screw and a washer through here, into the drill it into the side of the house. When you're all said and done, you're going to take your conductor and you're going to bend it up and this is where you're going to make your connection for your weather heads. Now, if you're doing a service change, you're going to do the connection. I'm not going to show you that because that's not something you should actually know how to do. If you're doing a brand new service, the power company will come, they will strip it, they will do their crimp on connectors, they will make their connections, make sure power goes, is restored to the house properly. One thing that I do want to discuss with you 
This is a drip loop, okay? Rain comes down, water starts picking up on it. The last thing you wanna do is keep this wire down like this because if water runs all the way down and into your connection, again, what did I say before? It's gonna corrode your connection. The reason we flip, we flip them up like this is because when water runs down, water drips off the bottom of the conductors and it trickles down and it doesn't mess with our connection. You know, we did a 200 amp service weatherhead today. And to be quite honest with you, 100 amp, 200 amp, those are the most common you're gonna use. Number two for 100 amp, four out for a 200 amp. Just a basic idea of how to actually install a weatherhead. The connections on the other point, leave that to the professionals and the power company. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell. And as always, have a great day and be safe.